Welcome back to A42 Media. Today we are going over how to trim and cut footage within the timeline on DaVinci Resolve 18. It also works for 17. There's not that many differences, but we are working on the 18 version today. So initially I wanna show you guys these tools that we have right here that are right above the timeline. We have the selection tool, which basically allows me to select a clip, move it around and also delete it. Um, we also have the blade tool that allows us to make these cuts within the clip on the timeline and we can do whatever we want with them. We can delete these clips, move them around. It just basically is a tool to separate uh, portions of the clip and do whatever you want with them. And then we also have the trim tool. And I'm actually going to show you guys what this does a little bit later, but for now, let's start with a simple cut. So to get started, we are going to click the detailed zoom button to actually see the waveform of this clip. We want to find a portion of this clip that we don't need, and I actually have one in mind. So I'm going to click the space key to start viewing the clip. YouTube, what it's looking at is click through rate. How many people click on your video? If it... So right there, I'm actually going to use the J and L keys to be able to move within the timeline. So right there, he says click through rate and then how many people click on your video. So it's a little bit repetitive and I just want to get rid of the how many people click on your video part. So what we can do is look at the waveform right here where he says click through rate. Click -through rate. He says click through rate and we want to keep that in, but then there's this portion that we want to get rid of. So I'm going to click space again. How many people click on your video? Okay, right there. He says, how many people click on your video? So we're going to get rid of that section. So how we do that is we go to the blade tool and then we make a cut right here, right here as well. And then we click out of the timeline and then we click on the uh, selection uh, tool but we can also have a shortcut. We can press A and then click on the clip. And then we can also just press delete. However, when you press delete, it leaves a gap within the timeline. So I'm gonna press Command Z to return. And if you want to close the gap after, after deleting a clip within the timeline, you can hold Shift and then delete. So I'm gonna click on this clip again, press Shift, delete. And now it deleted that section of the clip and it closed that gap. So let's play that again. YouTube, what it's looking at is click through rate. If it appears on their screen, never been on YouTube. Okay, so we made that cut, but there are there is a little bit of a, a weird section that we didn't make the right cut in. However, you're gonna have to be a great editor to get that on your first try. We will get back to that a little bit later though. I'm gonna show you guys how to utilize the trim option there. But first, let's go back to our timeline, our full timeline. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to utilize the trim edit mode. You can actually click on it or you can just press T as a keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna get my player head right from the beginning. I'm gonna click on detailed zoom. And now we can play this clip to check what we want to trim out of it. So. Okay, so that's nice, but I kind of want to get rid of this section. We could use the blade tool. However, the trim option is a little bit more useful. So now I'm going to click on the beginning of this clip and start trimming it by clicking on it and then moving it forward a little bit. And as you can see, it shows you right above, right next to where the trim um, is happening. It shows you how many frames I'm deleting and how many there is left. So there's three seconds uh, and 20 frames left. And we actually got rid of uh, six frames right there. So we can keep moving forward. And we are just trimming this away. Right, so this is perfect. We wanna leave it right there. And then we can also utilize the trim option by going back to where we made that cut. I'm going to click, I'm gonna actually zoom in a little bit more. And let's see where this cut is. Okay, so it's right here. So let's play it one more time so we can actually see where uh, we should trim the clip. Okay, so he says click through rate. Let's play it one more time. Okay, so we actually wanna delete this area right over here. And what we can do is click 
on the end of that clip. And then we can actually just drag it to the left. Let's see how that works. If, the rate, if it appears on there's much better, but there's also another way of doing it. Uh, that's more precise. So we can click on that area and then we can use the comma key and the period key to add single frames to that clip. So when I press the comma key, it deletes a frame. When I press the period key, it adds a frame. So this is just a much easier and more precise way of trimming a clip that you would like. Let's play it one more time so we can see how and if it is as seamless as we want it to be. YouTube, what it's looking at is click through rate. If it appears on their screen, I've ever been on YouTube, you scroll past. The trimming option is just an amazing tool to be able to do whatever you'd like to the timeline. So we've gone over the blade edit tool, we've gone over the trim tool, and we've gone over the selection tool. These are actually most of the tools that you would need to do all of your editing. If you guys do have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. We would love to answer them. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.